one of the questions I get often when clients come to Sephora when it comes to foundation is what tools do I use? Do I use a sponge or a brush? I say to clients, it all depends on the formula of your foundation. Let's take, for instance, Juvia's Place. Now, this is Juvia's Place, uh, their velvety matte foundation. Um, you get this product in Ulta or on the Juvia's Place website. As you can see, she thick. She don't budge. She don't move. She thick. So this is the best way to blend out this foundation is with a simple dampened sponge. See how that blends seamlessly without any lines. If you have a thick foundation, you want to be sure that you place this on your skin with a sponge because what happens is it picks up that excess product. See? Gives you that coverage without streaking. It's pretty much a flawless coverage. Now, if you want to use a brush, your foundation might be a little bit runny, if you will, a little bit more looser, like the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. Now, the girls know this Pat McGrath is very, very liquidy. So I'm going to pump out a little bit. She's very liquidy. See how she's running down my hands real quick like she's trying to get away? <laughs> so I like to use a like flat brush to blend her out so let's see and you do like buffing motion with pat mcgrath some people like to stipple her i like to do brushing sweeps like just blending it down and this is just it's like skin it's just like skin just like skin sweeping motions see and this one also gives you coverage too okay now there are some foundations that you can do either a brush or a sponge for instance the estee lauder um double wear foundation this one you can use a brush or a sponge i don't have the pump to this one i wasn't paying 30 dollars for a pump <laughs> real talk so it's slowly moving down the hand and I'm gonna use a sponge to just blend that out. See, once again, flawless, flawless, <laughs> flawless coverage by using a sponge and it picks up any excess product that you may have on your face, but Using a sponge also gives it that flawless finish without streaking or anything like that. So let's use the brush on this hand. Mm, just a little bit. See, it's not as runny as the Pat McGrath, so you can definitely use a brush to blend this out. Now this one I like to do stippling when i'm applying this on my face or you can do buffing it doesn't matter whatever your vice is see just look at that see how that blends out with a brush too so you can do either or with a brush or a sponge so again, it all depends on your foundation's formula. If it's a very runny, runny, liquidy foundation like the Pat McGrath, you want to use a brush. If it's really thick like the Juvia's Place, you want to use a sponge. That's one good tip for you.